never cut a fresh cake. I always bake one day and then we'll either put it in the freezer or the refrigerator wrapped up tight and then the next day I'll cut it. This is just a box cake mix, nothing special to it. Uh, but what I want is, is this is kind of a um, little too, it's a little too right. I want a little bit of a sharper angle, you know, more of a, more of a sharp angle here. So I'm going to cut it in and then I'll cut the board. So I'm basically, oh, I should have brought my turntable, huh? So I want it more of a pointy hat. So we're just going to carve around. Just do the best you can. Try to keep the angle. It'll be easier if you have it on a turntable, of course. just shave away pieces at a time so I don't take too much but you know any kind of mistake you make if you cut something off you don't want you can always fix with frosting or stick a cake piece back on there and glue it on with the frosting really helps when you carve to get down eye level with it and to step back from it It's a hat, so that's good enough. All right, so what we need to do now is remove all our crumbs and cut our board down. I don't use kid scissors. That's what these are. <laughs> the safety scissors. Not the best scissors for cutting. They work. There we go. All right, we're going to give this a crumb coat. We definitely have crumbs all over the place now. All right. Okay, so I've thinned a little bit of my buttercream, and I'm just giving this a quick crumb coat. When the cake is chilled and firm, it's really easy to do this. 